What's going on YouTube? This is SG1 Sports and you're watching our SEC football channel. But Missouri opens up the season with Wyoming. We didn't have the rosters for that game. We're going to assume that Missouri wins it. Not a guaranteed win, but again, uh, for the purpose of this video, we're going to assume that they win. And so then they will move on to face West Virginia, a big non-conference clash here. Missouri going up 14 to nothing with that Kelly Bryant touchdown run. Now it's 14 to three and West Virginia coming back. Austin Kendall, they actually consider that a pass. Uh, they take it down the field and it's 14 to 10, but now Kelly Bryant runs it in again. And it's 33 to 13 at this point. Missouri starting to pull away. Kennedy McCoy runs it in and Missouri not going away. Fourth down and 12 though, they get stopped. And that was really an opportunity. I mean, they had a chance to get that thing down to seven with a touchdown there. And then they have another opportunity here on fourth down, they get stopped. So uh, West Virginia had their opportunities. Their defense played really well in that fourth quarter, but it just couldn't, they couldn't get it done on offense. Couldn't convert there on those fourth downs. They lose. Missouri starts off with a win here, a couple of the wins in a row. Then they face Southeast Missouri. We're going to assume that they win that game as well uh, before heading into conference play against South Carolina. 10 to 7. Here's the score. Missouri up, but South Carolina coming back. They get the touchdown there. 14 to 10. South Carolina on top late in the second quarter. Missouri delivering. Jalen Knox making a really nice catch there. We're tied at 17, third quarter. Great game going here. Uh, Jake Bentley is able to power his way into the end zone. And South Carolina's back on top. Defense is really stepping up at that point, but Missouri has a chance to tie it up late in the fourth quarter. Larry Roundtree runs it in. And we're tied at 24, just 53 seconds to play. Jake Bentley and the Gamecocks trying to take it down and maybe win this game, and they get in the field goal range. Around the 25-yard line, they get a little closer, take the clock down, and this is for the win. Here we go. It's up, and it's good. South Carolina defeats Missouri 27-24. to Tough loss there for the Tigers as they come up just short. And we've already done South Carolina, so if you watch that video, you've already seen that result. The next game will be a non-conference game against Troy. We're going to assume that Missouri wins. Obviously, Troy is a good football team, a very solid group of five team. But we don't have the roster, and Missouri is going to be favored in that game, especially playing at home. So we're going to say for this video that Missouri wins that game, and then they go back to SEC play where they will face Ole Miss. Ole Miss coming up next in the SEC. So Missouri at home for that game. We're tied at 17, third quarter. Ole Miss. Taking the lead with that touchdown pass. Jaden Jackson making the catch. So Ole Miss up 24 to 17. Missouri in trouble here on third down and 10. They get stopped and would have to settle for a very long field goal and they make it. So how about that field goal? But the Rebels have a chance now to get the lead to two possessions and this would be big. On third down and goal, Matt Corral throws it. It's incomplete and Missouri does get the stop. So it's 27 to 20 now. Missouri going to get the football. They go all the way down the field. First down and goal. Kelly Bryant hands it off. Roundtree runs it in, and we are tied at 27. With well, still plenty of time, though. Ole Miss now. It's their turn. On third down and 10, they get stopped. The Missouri defense comes up with a stop. Ole Miss kicks the field goal. They take the lead here with about 2 minutes and 42 seconds to play. Uh, so Missouri has a chance to tie with a field goal, win it with a touchdown. Kelly Bryant on fourth down. Last chance. They convert how about that play big time conversion now on third down and long can they convert again they go to a little screen pass they're not going to convert this time but they do have it into field goal range and the field goal is good so we are now tied at 30 we go to overtime Missouri with the ball first Kelly Bryant to the end zone it's a touchdown and Missouri is up by seven Ole Miss's turn they throw an interception. Missouri's defense comes up with the play of the day. That's going to be the game winner. Three turnovers in this one from Ole Miss, and that was probably the difference. Obviously, it was the difference there in overtime. Uh, without the two turnovers in regulation, Ole Miss might have won this game, actually, in regulation. But Missouri gets the win. First win in the SEC. They're now 1-1 one and one in the conference, and that was a big one. Their next game is on the road at Vanderbilt. And we're going to pick this one up early in the game. Kelly Bryant throwing a touchdown pass to Jalen Knox. And then in the second quarter, it's Kelly Bryant on the ground. He'll run one into the end zone for a touchdown. And Missouri is up 14 to nothing. Now Bryant, once again, on the ground, runs it in. Touchdown, Missouri. 
and they pull away. 35-7 to was the final score in this game, so really no looking back. Uh, Kelly Bryant had a big day on the ground, uh, and just overall at the quarterback spot for Missouri, as you take a look at some of his highlights, Missouri is going to win it 35-7, to and they're now 2-1 and one in the SEC. There's a long touchdown run there. Uh, actually, it wasn't a touchdown run, but a very long run there from Kelly Bryant. Next game is against Kentucky, and looky there, it's again Kelly Bryant running it into the end zone. We see that a lot in these simulations. How about another one? Another touchdown run. We'll see if that plays out in real life. He is a very good runner. 17-6, Kentucky trying to come back here in the third quarter. They would, and they get the touchdown here, and it's 17-13. Now Kelly Bryant trying to get it done through the air. Delivers a strike. That's a touchdown. And this Missouri offense looking good here late in the third quarter. Kentucky's coming right back. They get the touchdown. This was a great game. 24-20 to now. Missouri with it. Bryant throws it. Touchdown. Missouri back up by two possessions. 34-20. to Kentucky hanging around. Third down and four here. Terry Wilson to throw. Going to the end zone. Look at that catch. Bryce Oliver right there on the sideline. Makes the catch. And Kentucky's within seven and still has plenty of time to get a stop. But it's actually the special teams from Missouri that comes up big here as they are going to return this kick all the way back for a touchdown. Missouri with a big play there puts the lead back to 14. Kentucky couldn't do anything with it. They were running out of time anyways. And Missouri is now uh, sitting there pretty good. Just one loss in the SEC. Get this win over Kentucky. But now the schedule does get a little bit tougher. Next up, it's Georgia. Jake Fromm going to take a shot deep down the field here. And that's basically just a jump ball, but it's caught. Jeremiah Holloman makes the catch, and I realize he's not on the Georgia roster anymore, but I did most of these recordings back months ago. Uh, it takes a long time to put all this together. But anyways, it's Georgia really pulling away in this game. They go up 17 to nothing. Uh, their defense really shutting down the Missouri offense. It's 23 to 6 at this point. Fourth quarter, Missouri trying to just hang around in this game, but Jake Fromm going deep, diving catch. That's a touchdown, and Georgia would pull away. 30-6 to the final score, so Missouri now has two losses in the SEC as they fall here, 30-6. to Next up on the schedule, it's the Florida Gators. Let's go to that game next. 3 to nothing here, Missouri on top. They go up 10 to nothing, and they've had Florida's number in recent years, but the Gators trying to come back here. Fourth quarter, they get a touchdown run from Felipe Franks. It's 16 to 13. Third down and four now for Missouri. They are going to get stopped. And so Florida gets a big stop there with their defense and has a chance to tie or maybe take the lead here. 4.15 to play. Franks looking to the end zone. It is caught for a touchdown. It's Kadarius Tony, and the Gators have the lead, but there is still plenty of time in this game. Missouri on a little screen pass. They get stuffed, and it's a Florida defense coming up big here. Third down and 14 now. Bryant looking to throw, and that's intercepted. Yes, the Florida defense making plays here in the fourth quarter as they look to finally beat Missouri. 20-16 to 16 now the score. A touchdown here might end this game, but they don't get it. They are stopped and would have to settle for a field goal. So Missouri has time, but it's a fourth down here. Fourth and five. They convert. They convert the first down. And have a chance to tie it still. First and goal. Kelly Bryant runs it in. And the Missouri Tigers have tied it at 23 with not much time left. So we go to overtime. Florida with it first. They go to the ground. And they get in. The Michael P. Ryan somehow found his way into the end zone. It's 30-23 to 23 now. Missouri answers back. And we go to overtime number two. Tied at 30. Missouri... They'll go first this time. Roundtree is going to be stopped on third down and goal. It's the Florida defense making a goal line stand. Missouri elects to go field goal. They go conservative and try to lean on their defense. That was a mistake because Florida gets the touchdown. Van Jefferson makes the catch, and the Gators will win it 36-33 to in double overtime. So Florida finally beats Missouri. We did Florida back weeks ago if you uh, missed that video. Uh, so you, but if you did see that video, you already saw these results. And we've done most of the SEC now. Uh, so, again, for those that have seen those, you're seeing these highlights again. But some of you probably didn't see all those videos. So we have to show every game. So three losses now in the SEC. The next game is against Tennessee. And the Volunteers uh, get a big play there. Brandon Johnson breaking tackles, taking it into the end zone. 
Uh, Missouri looking to answer back. Kelly Bryant delivers. Touchdown pass there. It's tied at seven. Now Tennessee with it. Third down and four. Guarantano going deep. And where is the defense? That's going to be a touchdown. I believe that's Marquez Callaway. Yes, it is. And now Tennessee all of a sudden up 21 to seven. It's the defense for the balls coming up with a big play. They take this interception. And that's the third turnover right there for Missouri already in this game. That was really a problem for them. And Tennessee was able to pull away 38 to 14. So a bad performance from Missouri. And you have to wonder after the Georgia loss and the Florida loss, maybe at this point this team is, is just kind of deflated. But they've got to get it together now. That's four losses in the SEC. Uh, you want to at least finish the season on a high note. Uh, they have one game left. It's against Arkansas. Arkansas up 17 to nothing. They get this touchdown pass. And Missouri, is. it looks like they're collapsing here at the end of the season. But they're not going to go away in this game. Kelly Bryant with a big run here for a touchdown. And it's 24 to 7. Actually, they're going to go for two. They go for two here. It makes it 24 to 8. I think it's a little early to do that, but uh, whatever. Third down and goal. Arkansas now. Just not going away. Rakeem Boyd runs it in. It's 31 to 8 at this point. And Kelly Bryant again doing everything he can as he runs one into the end zone here late in the third quarter. Fourth quarter now, 31 to 14 after they did not get the two point conversion that time. And all of a sudden, it's a 10 point game. This game's not over. Third down and three for Arkansas. Missouri gets a stop and they are making an epic comeback. Now it's Kelly Bryant, and we have a three-point game. Unbelievable comeback. Third down and four. They look to get another stop, and they do. Missouri gets the stop. They're going to get the ball back, and they have a chance to tie or even take the lead. And on third down, they have a dropped pass. They had their opportunity there. Arkansas gets the football. Missouri trying to count on their defense, but they cannot get the stop. Arkansas survives 31-28. Almost just an incredible comeback from Missouri, but they come up just short and they will lose their final four games of the season. So this team's going to finish seven and five overall and all five losses coming in the SEC. And they were looking really good until they get to the, the tough part of the schedule there with Georgia and Florida back to back. That's where they started to lose and just again kind of looked like they ran out of gas down the stretch. Thank you for watching this video. If you're an SEC football fan, please subscribe to the channel. Leave us your thoughts down in the comments below. And for the latest in SEC football, keep it right here.